Science is striving for the utilization of knowledge and understanding of the world around us and our existence itself through facts, methodical application, and evidences. In this project, we were tasked to compare the cell as to what it resembles in the occurring world. Thus, we based an amusement park according to the way it operates, corresponding to a cell's function. Hence the name, Yukar Park. Components that are included in the flow of presentation composes of the introduction, the member's designation of roles to the activity, the making of the project or the coordination of each member towards the process of constructing the project, presentation of output in which we tackle discussions of contents, concepts, and questions, and the reflection in which we conclude what we have achieved and learned throughout the process of making the activity. Was all made possible for the Team A's dedication, knowledge, and cooperation. The tasks composes of answering challenging questions, the process of making the brochure and its correspondence to the cell, and a brief reflection of the activity. In the making of the project, we can infer the members' designated positions to complete their tasks. Moreover, through the descriptions of the brochure, we can ensure that it is comprehensive, knowledgeable, and a fun way of learning and gaining interest of the microscopic nature. Truly, it's a small world. Good day, everyone. I am Priscilla, your tour guide for today. But first, let me ask you questions. What comes in your mind when you hear the word cell? How about organelles? I know you're familiar with those words. As we all know, cells are the building blocks of life. However, are you familiar with the different cell organelles? No need to worry about that. In order to make things easy, we identified a real-life attraction that is comparable to a cell. To give you an idea, a cell organelle is a subcellular structure that has one or more specific jobs to perform in the cell, much like the components of amusement parks. Each part of both operates in perfect coordination with the others to complete specific tasks. So come on aboard as we dig into the different parts of the cell and its corresponding function from a whole new perspective as we explore around the cell's counterpart, an amusement park. It is indeed a small world after all. To hit the road, we have the Parks Command Center. The Parks Command Center is similar to the nucleus of the cell, for the reason that it is the information center. Moreover, it also controls and directs the function of the whole cell through DNA, like how the command center is responsible for the park's operation. Here is what we call ideal perfection, or simply the entrance of the park. The amusement park gates function similarly to the cell membrane, since the cell membrane only allows certain molecules to enter the cell. In the same way, the park gates only allow certain people with tickets to enter the park's premises. Without electricity, all rides and stalls cannot function properly, thus making it boring and at the same time dangerous for visitors. Good thing, Yukar Park has a power plant which is similar to the mitochondria of the cell as it produces energy in the form of ATP for the cell to function. Just like how the power plant produces electricity in order to power the whole part. Next on our list is the land and its boundaries. The land and its boundaries are comparable to the cytoskeleton. For the reason that there are pathways in amusement parks that are interlinked which lead to various rides and places. Likewise, the cytoskeleton is the complex network of interconnecting filaments of the cell, which only not supports the cell structure, but also drives cell movement. 
prices makes your visitors happy, thus making them come often in Yukart Park. Hence, we have our very own rice factory, which is similar to Gogai apparatus. The factory of prices where the packaging and distribution of prices takes place. It can be compared to the Gogai apparatus, which is a, which is a cell organelle that modifies, collects, packages, and distributes molecules made at one location of the cell and used at another. Cleanliness of the park is very essential not only for us, but also for our visitors. Thus, we make sure we have our own recycling facility. A recycling facility is like lysosome, which are dubbed as a cleanup crews of cells. Lysosomes are small membrane structures that contain chemicals and enzymes necessary for digesting certain materials in the cell. Similarly, recycling facilities are considered the cleanup crews of amusement parks, such as Yukar Park. For the reason that waste generated are deposited in a recycling facility wherein they will be processed and disposed. Good day everyone, my name is Matthew and I will be your other tour guide for this park. I hope you enjoy and learn something from this experience. An amusement park needs a place where visitors can claim their prizes. A booth is designed to be able to store prizes which will later be handed out to visitors of the park. A booth is like a ribosome in a cell. Ribosomes are small organelles that are vital for protein synthesis. In order for our visitors to bring something home to remind them of our little park, we need to give them souvenirs and prizes. Prizes will make the visitor happy and will make them come back to our park more often. In a cell, the prizes and souvenirs are compared to proteins. Proteins are essential for performing almost all cellular activities. Are you hungry or thirsty? No need to worry. In our park, we have our very own cafeteria which can serve you good food and make sure that you will not be hungry while going around this park. A vacuole in a cell is like the cafeteria in our park. Except, instead of serving food towards people, it stores food and nutrients which can be consumed by a cell. Vacuole also stores waste products which will be later sent out of the cell. We now go to the main attraction of the park, the rides. The rides are compared to endoplasmic reticulum. The prizes that came from the game booths are also allocated in the rights of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, wherein the roller coaster of chemical reactions translate the souvenirs into prizes or protein. Without proper paths and some trees, a park can be so boring for the visitors. The paths that we created also help the visitors to go from one place to another with ease. In our park, we also planted some trees to fill up the vacant lands. In a cell, the counterpart of the trees and paths which are in the vacant part of the park is the cytoplasm. A cytoplasm is composed of water and different organic molecules which is responsible for holding the components of the cell together. In our control center, which is the counterpart of nucleus, we have another department which makes the booths, which is a counterpart of the ribosomes. This department is the same with the nucleolus. Nucleolus is a part of the cell which manufactures ribosomes. I hope that you enjoy the guide that we gave you about our park. Enjoy and wonder in this precious Yukar park. It's a small world after all. The activities that we performed helped me to understand more about the various parts of the cell. By comparing the parts of the cell into an amusement park, I found it easier to understand the functions of the cell's different organelles and how they work hand in hand to perform certain functions. I really enjoyed doing this activity as it helped me to acquire enthusiasm to have in-depth learning about the different parts of the cell. The insight that I've gained from this activity is that cell organelles have one or more specific function to perform in the cell. 
In addition, each organelle must operate in perfect coordination with the others to maintain the cell's life. Similarly, amusement parks have numerous components that must work together harmoniously in order to entertain and to put smiles in everyone's faces. As we all know, cells are the fundamental building blocks of all living things. Participating in this task provided me with a wealth of knowledge about the cell and the functions of its various organelles. Because of its similarity to the amusement park, it was also easier for me to understand each organelle. In order for the body to function efficiently, organelles and cells must work together. Similarly, in order for an amusement park to function correctly and provide visitors with fun and pleasure, the various elements that make up the park must all work together. Working in this activity, I learned more about the cell structure and functions. It allowed me to be creative and use my skills to contribute to the group. The activity encourages us learners to participate in group discussions that enable us to socialize and learn from discourses of one another. Furthermore, it not only encourages us to cooperate but learn about the topic we are discussing about. Cells are complex structures that compose of substructures similar on how comparable cells are to a systematic organization such as an amusement park that also compose of substructures that each function according to its role. It is subjective, but no matter what interpretation someone gives, it's all based out of individual purpose of cells, as how each organelle of a cell functions for the cell's development, corresponding to the substructures that make up the amusement park to fulfill its purpose, which is to amuse. This can also be inferred from the activity itself, where we as members of one group have each of their own roles to fulfill in order to complete the processes and complete the project. What I have learned from the group activity is that all of the organelles of the cell does its own function and does what they are needed to do. If one organelle disappears, the cell will not do its function to a tissue an organ or an organ system of an organism. The cell can be compared to an amusement park because all of the parts of the park can be represented by an organelle and that specific part of it does its own function. Having this kind of activity was fun. I was able to share my thoughts with my group mates while also learning at the same time. This kind of project allows me to understand the lesson better since we got to compare the cell with the things that we can see with our own eyes. This activity gave me cl clarity and deeper understanding of our topic, which is the different types of the different cells and also the scientists behind the breakthroughs in biology. This activity also helped me improve myself as a student and a part of a, a group of people where we must communicate with each other to succeed and reach our common goals. With all these things that I've gathered from this activity, I can perform better in the future. So we all know that any living things in Earth can be fascinating in any ways. Even the smallest organisms contain complex cells that can lead confusions to others. And because of that, we need to study meticulously for us to know each of organelles within the cells and its particular functions. So by making this presentation, I have learned a lot of things concerning how the cells do their own responsibilities in our body and even in plants as all the living things are composed trillions of cells. Furthermore, we do not need to memorize each small living organ, otherwise called organelles, and its corresponding functions for us to further understand the whole lesson or the whole study, but rather comparing them in real-life situation or real-life event will help us identify and to get familiarized to each of those things.